Are you wondering how to get the current time in Java? Because I've got the video for you. That's what you're going to learn today. What's up? It's Alex back again helping you learn Java. On this channel, I make new Java tutorials just like this every week. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I have a quick announcement. I launched a website, alexlaurenlee.com. That's my name. I'm thinking of adding a lot of cool features, especially for you. The subscribers of this channel will get special programs and features made just for you guys. I want to repay you for subscribing to the channel. So that's what I'm doing. To start getting the current time in Java, we have to set up a file for it. So let's just make a new Java project. We'll call this current time, hit finish, and we'll go in here and throw in our class and we'll just call it current time again hit this first check mark and finish you might think it's really hard to get the current time in programming and i first thought this too i was like how am i supposed to calculate the hour and the day do i have to do some crazy math with wh where the planets are aligned and the amazing thing you'll soon realize is that java does a lot of this stuff for you so we can get the current date by just typing one line of code and to do that we type this, date. This lets it know, hey, we're gonna want to get a date. Then you can name it, current date, and this name can be anything. It can be A, it can be B, but we'll call it current date. And we know that Java gets the date for us, so we can just set this to whatever Java's date is. And to do that, you type an equal sign, type the keyword new, and then a capital date with open close parentheses, and finish it off with a semicolon. And you'll notice some underlines here. Just hover over it in your editor and import date java.util. Do the .util and not the .sql. That's the difference. So click import date java.util and you're done. That adds this import statement at the top and this just tells the program you're writing that we're gonna be using Java's date getter. So let's see what that current date is by doing a system.out.print line and then throwing in that current date. So let's save it and run it. And we see in the console, hey, we get the date. And I'm actually recording this on Wednesday, November 14th at 7.35 and 39 seconds in 2018. So that's pretty awesome. All the hard work is done for us. We don't have to do any math or time calculations to get the current time. Now what if you just want the time? Or you want it to say 7.35 instead of 19.35? Or you want just like the day of the week? That's really easy to do too. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. A simple way to format a date is called a simple date formatter. And I'll show you an example here. We type simple date formatter. We name it, we'll say, we'll start off with the time format. It can, this name can be anything as usual. And we'll say equals new simple date formatter parentheses end it. And it's actually called simple date format, not simple date formatter. Sorry. These underlines are nothing to be afraid of. We're just going to do exactly what we did with this date statement here. We hover over it and import simple date format, java.text. Click it. That'll tell Java, hey, we're gonna use this formatter. It throws it in the import at the top and we're good to go, it'll work. Inside the parentheses of your simple date format, you're going to put some double quotes. If you wanna get just the time, you can create the format by doing hour hour or hh colon mm colon ss. And this will format it in hours, minutes, and seconds. So to see if this actually worked, we can print it out to the screen because that's how we see results. We see it with our eyes. To take this format and apply it to the date, we say time format. We say dot format, some parentheses, and then put in that current date. Let's save it and run it. And you'll see that this part of the date was formatted to the way we wanted it. So what if we wanted just the month, day, and year? I'll show you exactly how to do that as well. And it's exactly the same thing. We make a simple date format. We'll call it our date format. And we'll set it equal to a new simple date format. When you're coding, you'll see this pattern of this, this equals this, this. 
with parentheses. That's a common way to call code that's already written for you. So let's continue here and throw in our second format. This is gonna be just the date. To do this, we can type some capital M's. These capital M's stand for month, so it's not confused with minutes. And then we say, hey, we wanna separate it by forward slashes. We can do the day, day, and year, 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 year. Let's go ahead and print that out to the screen just like before and we'll do date format and then format that current date we got. Okay, save it. Oh, I'm gonna say current date, not just current. Save it, run it, and we get the date here. It turned this November 14th, 2018 into 11 14 2018 and you might be wondering how do i know this how do i get like what do these little letters here mean i have a link in the description i'll just put it in a comment here and here is that link and we'll go to it in chrome real quickly and this will show you how to use it and it's written in this very technical um programmer focused document so to me, when I was learning how to code, I didn't know, I didn't understand any of this. Like, I would just skim through it. I'd be like, I don't understand this at all. But the only important thing here are what these little letters represent. So you see uh, year here is represented as a lowercase y. And that's exactly what we had here. We had y, y, y. We give sp four spaces for the year, 2018. 20, the same thing here. Uh, the days have two digits and the months have two digits. Let's just do two more examples. We'll make one to get the day of the week. That's a good one, day of the week. So we'll do a simple date format. Uh, we'll call it day of the week format. Man, I'm awful at giving names. And then say equals new sample date format. For this one here, we see that in this document to get the day name of the week is a capital E and we wanna make space for a lot of characters. So we'll just put like four E's here and we'll see if that works. Simple as that, we've already done this like two times already, save it. We'll see the exact same thing, we'll get the day of the week. And I've got one more pretty cool one for you. This one formats it like a clock. Da da equals da da. For this one we want the hours and then the minutes, and then maybe like a.m. or p.m. So to do that, we want the hours. That's this little h right here, hour and a.m. p.m. And then the minutes in the hour, and the last one was a.m. p.m. marker. So we need h, mm, and a. Okay, so let's do that. Let's make a clock. h, and then a colon to separate it like a clock. M M A. Okay, let's do that one here. Save that. We will run it and we will see a clock on the screen. I'll make this a little bigger again so you can see all the code. All the code will be in a link in the description. That'll lead to my webpage which has a list of my videos along with the code right next to it. So you can just copy and paste from there. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and that'll tell me to make more. Question of the day, how are you using the current time in Java? Let me know in the comments and engage with this community of new programmers. Smash the like button if you thought this was helpful and share it with a friend if you think it might help someone you know. Have a great day. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I appreciate it. Catch ya.